The retina is the nerve tissue that lines the back of the eye. Occasionally, this can tear or break. That's usually not caused by anything other than aging, although occasionally it can be related to trauma. When retinal tears occur, many patients will notice flashing lights in their vision or little floaters uh, moving around in their vision. Retinal tears are not painful. Retinal tears are dangerous because they can lead to a retinal detachment where fluid gets underneath the retina and peels off the retina. And if that happens, then you will need retinal surgery. To prevent the retinal tear spreading to a retinal detachment, it's important to treat it as soon as possible. There are two main ways to treat a retinal tear. The first is with laser, where we apply spot welding of laser around the tear from inside the eye. The second method is a technique called cryotherapy, where we put a cold probe on the outside of the eye to form a little scar tissue around the tear. The day after you have treatment for your retinal tear, you can resume normal activities, but it's probably best to avoid strenuous activities or exercise for about a week after your procedure. If you have a little bit of discomfort after the procedure, you can take some Panadol or some Nurofen to help with this. Remember that treating a retinal tear won't improve your vision. It also won't reduce the number of flashes or floaters that you have. The reason why we're treating the retinal tear is purely to try to prevent this becoming a retinal detachment. Fortunately, in many cases, over a period of weeks to months, the flashes and floaters will reduce in time. Very importantly, any time after your procedure, if you suddenly notice an increase in flashing lights or lots of floaters in your vision or part of the peripheral vision becomes dark with a shadow, it's important to contact your eye doctor as soon as possible.